How did God meet you in a special way during mm. some of the tar hardest and darkest times in that season? Yeah, you know, that is a good question because at first, you know, I remember, I remember one night lying in bed and I was experiencing another uh, panic attack and, and I thought, okay, this is the time to reach for that armor of God and, and the shield of faith. And so I'm just crying out, praying for it. And, and I don't know what I expected, but I sure didn't get it. Um, it, I, I, I didn't get back to sleep that night. I didn't have any real peace that settled over me or anything like that. And I, I got, uh, I got past that and began to reflect on both my understanding of the armor of God and just the way I prayed and began to realize that I kind of had, I was kind of uh, approaching it with this magical thinking idea that if I just sort of, um, said these words that somehow it would miraculously, um, cover me in some way and, and as if it would end the battle. And I think the armor of God isn't, isn't to take away the battle, it's to get through the battle. And, and, uh, and so I think it, I, I think the way God met me was in a couple of ways. One was to just expand my understanding of prayer and, and that God didn't have to take away the anxiety to meet me that, that actually I, I didn't need the anxiety to be gone. I needed the power of the anxiety to be gone in my life. And if I could see him there with me in the middle of it, that was, that was uh, the most important thing. And then also just to go, you know, when I was at a point where I couldn't even control my own brain uh, to, to recognize on a new level, oh, this is what grace is for. It's, it's for those things that I can't fix myself. And, um, and I've been the sort of person who was pretty self-reliant and could pretty much fix something if I, if I felt it was wrong with me. And, and so to be at a point to go, oh no, there's grace even for this. I think it just kind of enlarged my understanding of, of who God is. I wanna talk about a great point that you brought up and that is when you're in self-preservation mode and you call it the armor of me, the belt of denial, the breastplate of humor, feel ready with a plan of escape, the shield of perfectionism, the helmet of avoidance, and the sword of blame. How do we get out of self-preservation mode and the mm. armor of me and into the armor of God? Yeah, you know, I think I think that is so much of the time how how we operate. Um, you know, I, I, I've always been a performer. Uh, I've always been the compliant overachiever. You give me a task and uh, I will... I will do my best to live up to expectations and to to come through and and really um, I always saw that as being just such a, a strength when in a lot of ways it it was a defense it was my way of saying if I if I'm relying on myself then I don't have to rely on God I don't have to be vulnerable I don't have to look at what I'm actually feeling because I can feel pretty good about myself if I'm doing what's expected of me and we can we can find all sorts of things that we rely on and we go to first rather than than to count on God we want to count on you know whatever we can do to fix the situation to make it a little more manageable and uh, and so yeah we build up all these these armors of our own but uh, the thing about the the armor of God you can't you can't wear one kind of armor on top of another it's like a it's a close fitting armor that God's given us. And so we've, we've got to, um, you know, learn to set those things aside. And honestly, it's hard to set those things aside. I didn't even realize what I was doing. I think sometimes um, it takes the circumstances in our lives to make us, to help us even see, oh, this is, this is inadequate. It's not really going to provide protection. We need something more. And, um, and so, Thankfully, God's armor is right there. His 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 care and protection for us is is uh, readily available when we can set down our own. Can you take a minute and can you just pray for those today that are struggling with anxiety, OCD, depression, and they need hope today? Sure, I'd I'd be honored to do that. Um, oh God, uh, I thank you for your amazing grace and care and the fact that that you see each of us 
exactly where we're at. And uh, Lord, uh, if there are uh, viewers, I know there are viewers today who are watching this and uh, struggling mightily with a sense of loneliness, a sense of uh, isolation, and that the burden that they are carrying is um, too much. And so, God, I pray first and foremost for your preservation and your strength. I pray, God, that you would direct them to the care and the help that uh, that they need, that you would provide the resources, that you would you would make your presence known even in the midst of a really difficult situation. I pray, God, that they would be reminded of the fact that you are a savior who understands suffering better than anybody and you're right there with them. And so God, uh, meet them today, I pray. Guide them, um, protect them, and uh, show them more of yourself and, uh, and bring them peace. In Jesus' name, amen.